breaking news, Trump naming his pick to head the Department of Defense. That's the Fox News host Pete Hegseth. Hegseth has been a longtime staunch Trump defender. Here he is back in 2020. This is a president who has said, I want to make America great again. And he's up against the forces of the left who believe that America was never great. All right, so you, you can see exactly where he stands, and he has been consistent in that. Hegseth is an Army veteran who served in Iraq and Afghanistan, and it comes as the Wall Street Journal, of course, this hour is reporting that the Trump transition team is considering a draft executive order which would establish a quote-unquote warrior board of retired senior military personnel with the power to remove three- and four-star officers that they want. Out front now, the Democratic Congressman Dan Goldman of New York. He also served as lead attorney for House Democrats during the first Trump impeachment. He's on the uh, Committee for Homeland Security, and we were going to talk about Governor Nome and her role there, but, uh, that you know, 10 minutes have passed, so the world has changed, and the world has changed in a few ways. First is Pete Hegseth, Trump choosing him, the Fox News host, uh, Pete Hegseth for Defense Secretary. What do you think? I'm shocked, truly, and this is exactly what uh, we worried about and we warned about Donald Trump, which is that he is going to appoint unqualified loyalists to shape this government into his own personal fiefdom and get revenge on th generals um, and put essentially really unqualified people. I appreciate Mr. Hegseth's service uh, for in, in our armed forces, but being a, a serviceman, it does not make you qualified to lead the Department of Defense and to have access to our nuclear weapons. Uh, I'm very disturbed by this and I'm very concerned about what it demonstrates about Donald Trump's priorities, uh, which now seem to be coming true, as many of us warned. I, we've been looking here. We really just had this news for just a few moments. Uh, and I, so we've been, obviously, he's a Fox News host. He said a lot of things over the years. Let me just play a little bit more of what Hagseth has said specifically, Congressman, about Trump. And what I'm going to play now is from 2019. God has used yeah. imperfect, imperfect people forever because we're all imperfect. But what he has withstood is unlike what really any other mortal yeah. could, could, could uh, understand. So that's Pete Hegseth uh, talking about God has used uh, imperfect people there, referring it to, to Trump. Uh, look, he's a television host. There's going to be thousands more of those sorts of things. But um, what, what do you hear when you hear that? Look, that was 2019. That was before January 6th, right? That was before Donald Trump tried to overturn an election. That was before Donald Trump hid classified information in his bathroom and refused to give it back uh, while he was having phone conversations with Vladimir Putin. This guy is clearly a sycophant for Donald Trump and has been his biggest cheerleader on Fox News, the biggest cheerleading network. Um, and that is not what makes one qualified to be a cabinet secretary and secretary of defense. And the fact that Donald Trump thinks that is appropriate is very dangerous for our national security. It's bad enough that you have Christy Nome, who has zero experience with the border, with Homeland Security, being a governor from South Dakota, heading up our Department of Homeland Security. Now you have a, uh, a Fox News host who's, who's got his finger on the nuclear weapons. It's... It's very dangerous. So what do you think about the Hegseth selection as Secretary of Defense in the context of the Wall Street Journal reporting? I, I want to ask what you think. That reporting, just in case you didn't hear, Congressman, is that um, Vivian Salama is reporting that they've been working on a potential draft executive order that would give a so-called warrior board the power to remove senior officers, three- and four-star officers. So, th th look, that's a draft. But that's the context here, and you've got now a Secretary of Defense with a name on it, Pete Hegseth from Fox News. So what do you think is going to happen here with the Defense Department? Well, I think Pete Hegseth is clearly going to do whatever Donald Trump wants him to do. And Donald Trump has made it very clear that he is going to politicize the entire executive branch, the entire federal government. And I'm just hearing about this news now. I'll have to look into this executive order a little bit more. But if yep. it is as you say, and you have retired generals selected by Pete Hegseth, who's essentially an arm of Donald Trump, to target three- and four-star generals, who do you think's up first on that list? John Kelly, uh, other, you know, McRaven, other uh, Mark Milley. I mean, these are people who have stood yep. up 
as patriots for our country and confronted and opposed Donald Trump. And this is what Donald Trump will do to get revenge and retribution against them. And Pete Hegseth is clearly the pawn in Trump's scheme to do that. All right. Now, as we were speaking, there was just another development. So let me share that with you, Congressman. This is new to me as well. And that is that Trump has just announced that Elon Musk and Vivek Ramaswamy are going to lead uh, the DOG, as Elon Musk has referred to it, but that is the Department of Government Efficiency. So that's what Trump is calling. I don't, it's unclear exactly you know, what that's going to entail, but they are going to lead it. They have been named. So I guess on this one, take a step back, because we don't know much about it other than that. We know Elon's been talking about it for a while on social media. Do you think such a concept, being run by someone like Musk from the business world, could actually have the potential to be helpful? I think in, in the abstract, yes. I, I do think that our government needs to be streamlined, that we need to make it more effective and more responsive. Mm -hmm. uh, I do agree with that. I think the conflicts of interest that Elon Musk brings to any government job are beyond the pale. And how can we be sure that Elon Musk is not going to be making efficient everything in favor of his own companies? Um, if he's not going to divest and he's not going to separate himself, and we know he's not because Donald Trump didn't do that as president of the United States, then how can we be sure that he is acting in the interest of the country and not in the interest of himself? Um, so I, I think Elon Musk is a brilliant businessman. I don't think he belongs uh, running our government, and that appears to be what he's doing right now. All right. Well, Congressman Goldman, I really appreciate your time, and thank you very much as all this news is coming out for being with me.